So I am a real nurse. That's why they call me the nurse. So hello, that's why I really call the nurse. I'm an RN CISSP. I'm the only one in America. There's another one in Amsterdam that I try and go see regularly. So nice guy. So uh, I'm really into psychic hacking and this type stuff. Um, uh, tour camp. If anybody was at tour camp, we, they did a lot on psycho, uh, psychosonics and stuff. And then um, uh, Nauticon. They had uh, rain was at Nauticon. We got together. It's like now I've been using psychosonics. I like it. Some of it is pure shit. It doesn't work. And some of it works. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you about the basics, how to make it, show you the history of it, and then from there, what we'll do. Hey, I'm live. Uh, what we'll do from there is I'll take you into how to cook these psychosonic drugs. So, and I'll show you films about they're freaking out in Iowa about them. Ah, our kids are taking sound. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right up front. I see it's pulled up. Thank you, kind sir. Perfect. Ooh. All the technology works, and we're only a matter of minutes late. Yeah, yeah. The techno gods smile on us today. Uh, let's see, psychosonics. Let me pull this up to keep me on track or I'll get lost and things like that. Doop a doop a doo. <laughs> yeah, after this, it becomes drowned myself in ETOH alcohol. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, uh, I like the whole sound stuff. You know, I work with, uh, write articles for socialengineer.org. Oh, if you have not visited social-engineer.org, I am sorry, you are missing the easiest attack vectors you have ever seen, okay? Visit the site. If you didn't read the articles, they had articles on how to win at playing poker through social engineering tells. So it's a pretty good. The difference between social engineering and a lot of this is, it, uh, this is independent of words. Doesn't need any words or anything like that to make all the noise. All right. Oh. I figured anybody with a flaming bra and more weapons, I, I, you got to have good stuff like this. Okay? Uh, oh, yeah, that's me. I am a private practice informatics nurse. So you all go back and say, I'm not an informatics nurse. And everybody goes, what's that? Um, lots of syllables. That means I make good money. Nursing science, information, and computer science, all three jumbled together. Anybody been to the hospital? Do you notice they've computerized them? So I'm a pen tester. I hack hospitals for a living. Oh, the perfect job for a nurse. I'm sorry, board. Your security sucks. Pay me lots of money. Uh, let's see. Neurohacking. This is, you've heard a couple tracks on neurohacking. And neurohacking is old and new all at once. We have new tools, a new way of combining them that make neurohacking even easier. The big break for me and where I really find benefit from this is the fact that, you know, everybody has earbuds now. You put those buds in there, I've infected your MP3s with the sonic sounds I want. Have a nice day. Thanks for shopping. Neurohacking, social engineering is neurohacking because you gotta also inject the sound, but I, I think it's more interesting. Think about it this way. I'm trying to sell furniture. I'm trying to brainwash all of you into buying a new couch, right? And I like put messages behind it, couch, couch, subliminally. Okay, I'm in a different part of the country. They don't call them couches. Is it a couch, a divan, a settee, a Davenport? A, what the hell is it? So how am I gonna use the right words in social engineering to get you to buy that. It's only area specific. That's why it doesn't work on a lot of things. The word sale works, of course, things like that. That's where we get in with neurolinguistics and the whole SENH part. Okay, what is psychosonics? All right, realize everything in the world vibrates. Okay, it has a frequency. Alchemists knew that. Remember your brain, you have different frequencies, alpha, beta, theta, we'll go over that if you didn't have Psych 100. Um, it's really a lot easier, and here's my couch Davenport settee. It was founded by William Dove, who I, Wilhelm, I am sorry, Hendrik Wilhelm. He was one of the first climatologists, and he actually predicted on um, climate, warm, um, climate warming and stuff. Very fascinating man. When it came out, I love his, like, picture. So when it came out, he was like, had three different methods. 
Now, most of the psychic drugs and the stuff you hear is binaural, and that means two ears, okay? You're a smart crowd. Uh, monaural, I won't insult you. That's more versatile, because I don't have to have the buds in both ears. I can actually infect you with just one ear. And then isochronic, come on, you're all smart people. You remember that's the way we shift stuff. It has no timing in it, and it's very random. So it really works, and then the second part of this, I'm going to show you how to create these, the binaurals, all the, uh, hey, I'm an open source, so all open source software, so you can go back and start adding these to your attack vectors. Remember, a friend of ours said, there's no patch for stupidity. And so th this is just one of those, let's add more stupid stuff to our toolbox to affect them. Okay, I spent a long time as a trauma nurse, um, life and death, the military gave me those skills in another life. And these bikers would plow into the concrete wall. We'd get them in the you know, uh, intensive care, and we'd put the God channel on the radio next to their ear while they're in the coma and all of that. And all of a sudden, oh, maybe there's a lawsuit in this. Never mind. So uh, we'd play the God channel. All of a sudden, they'd wake up and they go, I've seen the Lord and stuff. It really does affect you. For older patients, we'd put on like ACDC. You don't need no blood pressure medicine, put that up, put next to the ear, turn it way up, like, oh, oh. yeah, that's the best. Here is what your ear looks like. Do you know hearing is one of the last sounds to go when you're dying? Hey, I see your trauma nurses know about death. It, look how close that is. From here to basically, the, just inside your brain, this is the most connected of all the senses. Have you ever had a song stuck in your head? Yeah. Like, Poker face. <laughs> and it doesn't go away. It's like, where is it? And it's really old ones sometimes. Like, like some old beach boy thinks, where did that come from? Where do these oral images come from? We don't know that shit yet. So if we did, my stuff probably wouldn't work. That's what's great about it. Basically, it's plugged right in. I mean, this is 100. This one's interesting. We currently use some of these things, the Canadians, we have, we wouldn't allow that in our healthcare. The Canadians are, uh, they're doing this for, for better feeding for kids. Hey man, I eat better when I have music, little soft music, everything goes better with that. So, and there's a source. Remember, music tames the savage beast, but we can inject psychosonic frequencies to make them crazy. Okay. I was sitting around with a table with a bunch of friends, and they were talking about it. They'd gone out and looked at one of the psychosonics, Lucifer, and it's like the vision from hell is coming out at you. You'll hear it referred to later. And uh, the guy looks at me and says, I'm so angry. This is so annoying. I could punch somebody in the nuts. So I hope he's in the room. I told him I'd say this. And it's like, okay, it made him so angry he would punch someone in the nuts. Now, this is not as usual. Now, was that the psychosonics, or was that just the annoying sound coming out? I don't care. Maybe you want to punch people in the nuts. That's anger. I'm okay with anger. <laughs> Here are the frequencies. These are, uh, you learn some of these in Psych 100. These are the things you always know. Let's start at the bottom. Oh, I try to make them big enough so everybody can see the slides. Delta, and I'm pretty sure I put a delta on the CD for you. That's, let's fall off to sleep because I've drunk it too much and make the room stop spinning. Oh. One guy yells at the room when it doesn't stop spinning and it doesn't. Uh, theta is for meditation, and you can spend years and years and years, oh, get your mantra out, sit cross-legged, or you can just jack this in. Okay, I'm, I'm into cheap, quick, easy fixes. So just jack the, four, uh, the thetas in. Alpha is relaxation, and on your one, I think you'll find one for airplanes also. You plug that in, you play it, and it, okay, none of them are polluted. I'm not trying to turn you into, like, psychic zombies or anything. It's, it wouldn't be cool. I'd rather do this capital or I'll wait till I get to DC to do those. Okay. So, and Bluetooth. If anybody's ever in the DC airports, run the Bluetooth. And if you fly out of DC, turn your Bluetooth off. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alpha. Beta is what most people walk around it. Well, I would say most of you here in beta. If you go outside, they're not in beta, some of them. So just realize you're a little bit busy. Um, you're active. And the one that most people don't get is the top one. You don't learn about that. And those are the gammas. It's a little bit higher. Remember, recordings are supposed to run from tw 20 to 20,000. 
And that's our regular range. When you tune an orchestra, it's 440A. Okay? So these are known frequencies. We can stick the electrode, shave your hair, stick the electrodes, and measure them out. We know what frequencies different wave patterns of the brains produce. This has been around for ever almost, it seemed like. So these are the basic ones. These are the frequency ranges we're going to be producing. Sorry. <laughs> They're coming for him. The, um, uh, these are the frequent ranges we're going to be producing, and then your desired effect, whatever you want, is the frequency range you inject. Pretty simple, isn't it? I want a Pepsi. I push the button that says Pepsi. Okay? It usually comes out. Now, there's a couple tricks to creating these, and that's why I'm here to show you the tricks to creating them. Okay? Let's talk about military uses. I love kilts, and I put this in in honor of all the kilt people. Sorry to bother you, sir. We were told there's a man in the park wearing a dress, torturing a bag full of cats. I'm like, oh. But think about that. You're coming in from Rome to attack. They played the bagpipes at night. And that, oh, they're weird. I'm not talking Danny boy. They play weird battle stuff. And they're like, what's that noise? And like, ah. It was a classic, classic. Just like we loosen people up with cyber attacks now, they loosen them up with neuro attacks. They're, they weren't dumb back there. And uh, let's see. Uh, these are. <laughs> Neil, Dr. Katz, it, it's like, Neil, are these real? I mean, well, I haven't quite figured them out, but it said sonic tubas. Okay, I like the guys in front. They're like, yes. Um, I'm a Vietnam veteran. This is why I learned about these PTSD. They use these to treat that. And several people said, hey, how about autism? I'm like, I don't know. Did a Google search? Did a literature search? Nothing showed up. Nothing showed up. It's a technology we had. It disappeared, and it came back, just like padlocks. They had them. They couldn't figure them out. Now they're back. The top one was in Vietnam. There were a bunch of speakers. Okay, you know this one. Da 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 da. Yeah. Okay. So we've used those quite a bit. The bottom was an entire airplane that was full of speakers. Okay. Alter every culture has sounds and things they're afraid of. And if we can tap into that cultural fears of sounds, and we'll talk about sounds and torture soon, things like that. It becomes beneficial, becomes a real threat vector, not just some happy experiment to treat people with. Um, how many people have seen these? How many people? Yeah, these are all our veterans, the people who have seen these. They're using these currently in um, Afghanistan, place like this. They'll, they have bigger models, but they wouldn't let me show any pictures. They were not happy. So uh, what they do is pull them up behind sand dunes, and they play tank sounds at night. And then, the tanks are here, we must run. So, God, I'm gonna crack this stage yet. So we're gonna, and they run away, and then they go in the next morning. Now these are smaller ones. So, but, I mean, think about that. How sounds, the sound of tanks at night when they can't be verified, would strike fear into terrorists, or into insurgents, let's call it. No, it's their country, never mind. It strikes fear, right? I like this one. How many have seen these? Yeah. Oh, more people. Yeah. Uh, how, put your hands up. How many have experienced their, in, their pleasureness? Is that a good way? Anybody been blasted? Yeah. Was it fun? No, that's what they all say and stuff. It, it puts out like an unbelievable. You go to, okay. If you, if you need any knowledge, sad to say, go to YouTube. And almost everything in the world is in YouTube. And they got pictures of this, like dispersing people, so you can really see how well it works. These are really nice. Uh, the machine gun sort of helps, but, you know. And I'm, I'm talking about that little square thing or that stops by anything. Here is the trick of it. Word of God in their head. You surrender or run away. So instead of using the weapon as a large blast weapon, they turn it way down and then speak into it. And it's frequencies you don't know you hear it. It's in your head. So all of a sudden it's like, 
there's a voice in, well, more than one sometimes, there's a voice in my head.